All right, what's on the bench today? Uh, this is a product sent into the channel for review by, um, I, first I thought it was Sequer, but I think, I think it's Secure, you know, play on the words, it spelt funny, but I think uh, that's the name of the company. So I saw this product um, reviewed on EEV blog, Dave, and uh, I had to have one. So, so I, I sent off an email and said, hey, I need one of those things. So they sent me one. Um, this is a product that I've been waiting for for a very long time. I've wanted one, but I just didn't like any of the ones I've found in the past. And, and what is it? It's, it's hot tweezers um, for removing uh, surface mount uh, components. And um, I, I wanted one for the longest time, but they're big and bulky and the tips were too crude and they just didn't work. They had an AC cord on them. There's just, there was just things I just didn't like about it. And this product here is perfect. I love this thing. Um, so if, you, if you're looking into reworking things and you've had to pull one little component off, man, this makes your job so, so much easier. So uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, what, it's black on black, so it's hard to photograph. Um, first of all, there's a real nice holder. So most of the times they wimp out on the holder, not this one. This one's a piece of solid aluminum. It's real heavy and it's hogged out aluminum. And there's a rubber pad on the, on the bottom so it doesn't scoot around. You do have to assemble it. It doesn't fit in the case unless you take the two screws out, but it's fine. This is also, this is also aluminum with a little rubber pad in it. And so the uh, uh, part sits in there and it is secure. It is really good. That's the name of the company. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. So this is a USB-C type of soldering device. So it comes with a 60 watt, 65 watt um, uh, charger. It's got the flip out for the United States and it's got a, a, a European plug a module. Uh, comes with a nice silicone uh, wire and it comes with a couple of things. So it comes with a tiny little grub screws and a hex key. So these um, uh, soldering tips are standard soldering tips that you would use on, on a, a single iron. Um, so you can find them all over the place. They're the C, I think it's the C210 is the model number. It just plugs in here. And then there's little grub screws in here that you have to tighten so that you can, you can change the orientation. They don't, they don't, they don't rotate on you. Right. Um, so I'm not going to take them out, but you get the idea. They just plug right in here. And, uh, it only comes with the little curve tips. I don't know if you can see those on camera, the little tiny little curve tips. I'll show you some close up photography, but the little curve tips are the perfect ones. They also have some big blades where you can take off like an SO, an SO8 package all at once, but you have to buy those separate. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and plug it in and uh, show you this thing. All right, I'm going to plug the USB-C in and it should get a little splash screen. There we go. And uh, uh, it says 19.9 uh, volts is coming in, three amps. I had it, I have it set to three, uh, 350. You can push the little buttons here and this does it in fifties, but you can go in the menus and set it every single degree. Uh, no problem there. It does have a, a t shutdown mode. Uh, you hold, you hold both buttons to get into the menu. You hold one button, uh, to make it go. So it says work and you can watch the uh, temperature rise up. It's already at 350. Very, very quick. And, uh, do it again, stop and it'll, and it'll ramp down. So, I mean, there's really not much to say about this other than I just love the thing. Um, I'll show you some videos here. Um, I'm just taking some random device uh, that I don't want and taking, taking some parts off. So in general, uh, it, it works just perfect. The only issue I had with it was with really big tantalums. Um, I, the tips were just too small for that. Uh, I would need bigger tips. If I was going to do that all the time, I would need a bigger tip to take those off more easily. Um, and I would like to get some of the blade ones to take off some um, other types of packages. But for the little components that I want this for, it's going to be perfect. Um, so there you go. All right. Uh, so like I said, not much to say about this thing other than I think the form factor is perfect. Uh, it does have a... Uh, 
provision to flip the, the display if you're left-handed. Um, but really these devices, you never want to look at the display, right? You just turn it on, make sure it's up to temperature, and then, that, and then you never look at it again. So yeah, uh, pretty, pretty easy. Uh, it does seem like it comes with a different, you can put in a different power supply. There's a, a three and a half millimeter uh, uh, port on there. I got, maybe you can run off a battery. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, this is, this is great. It's so small. It's so light. Um, it is, it is perfect. It's not going to overpower the parts that you're trying to pick up. Like I said, some of those other, other tweezers I've looked at in the past, the tips were just a big joke. They were huge. Um, so anyway, there you go. Highly recommended. This is the HT140, and I'll put a link down below.